All right. Hang on to your hats, folks. Batten down the hatches. Oh, yeah. Lucy and Katie bar the door. <laughs> this is like one serious Malbec. Uh, and even, I can barely uh, hold the bottle for crying out loud. Even long. the broker that brought it to me the, said, you, you can't believe this deal. You just can't believe it. And so it's uh, it's um, 30 bucks on the shelf approximately. It's eighteen ninety nine for more. Big, heavy bottle. Uh, that, and the, the, the label is actually a picture of Ben Marco. but And he's looked better than that, I think. And it's a Cab Malbec Cab Franc, mm -hmm. a very usual blend, but it's just loaded with loaded. It's just absolutely freaking loaded. I get chocolate, I get coffee. Yeah, but it's not a big tannic monster. I mean, it still has some elegance to it. Look, look at that glass. Look at look at that glass. I know. <laughs> That's hilarious. It looks like a stained glass window. Oh my god, I think I could paint my car that color. <laughs> so fun. Wow, this is really this, you get this is amazing. Coco. I mean, a little coffee. Twenty eight ninety nine is actually a really good, it's really price good for price. That. And eighteen ninety nine is, is stupid. It's stupid. It's price. Stupid. Price. You see Mark Mark Salter at the tasting. Mark Salter's with. Uh, no, I didn't see Mark. I don't know that I would have recognized him. His, I haven't uh, seen him in so long. That's his. He's the one that says stupid. This is the stupid. So I walked up to him at the counter. Where he's there at, at these tastings. You see, there's tables and tables and tables of wine, and we know most of the people that are pouring them. So I walked up to Mark and said, "What's what do you got? For, that's a stupid price." <laughs> that's, that's his term. You know. Well, stupid price today. I've got this uh, Pinot Grigio. But um, did you see the post by uh, Monty Montgomery? Um, I mean, Montgomery Paulson. Yeah. Uh, the other day it was St. Patty's Day. No, I didn't see that. And I reflected. I went back and I watched our video with him. It was so funny. And I remember the days when, you know, his dad would pour and Dickie oh, yeah. Smothers would pour and Fess Parker would pour. That's right. No, on, I do them all. On a different plane, right? They're not right. no longer the celebrity... They're the right. wine guy, right? Right, right. Well, I, I became very close friends with his father. His father, you know, Pat Paulson, was not only probably the funniest guy I ever met in my life, but he was really a nice guy. I mean, he really, we just kind of bonded, you know?